Hey guys, it's Sarah. And today I have some books here to show you that I own physically, but I also have on my Kindle from NetGalley. That can definitely happen. Some of them are books that I got from NetGalley initially from the publishers, but then they sent me a hard copy later. Some of them I have from NetGalley, but I bought my own physical copy later. <laughs> and some of them are gifts from other people, even though I had them on NetGalley, which is fine. And yeah, so a little bit of mix of like places I got them, but I have not read any of them. So these are kind of like my NetGalley TBR books that I also have on my shelves. Um, Krista from Books and Jams did a video similar to this one. So I will leave that link down below if you want to go check it out. Um, I was like, oh, I could totally do a video like that. 100%. I have a list already on my phone of the physical books I have that I also have in that galley. And I would like to start making these more of a priority so I can kind of knock two things off my list there. All right, we will start with The Appeal by Janice Hallett. I've heard very good things about this book actually, and I can't believe I haven't read it. It's been on my mind though. Like every time I look at it, I'm like, man, I really want to read that. So this is told primarily through transcripts or text messages, emails, all that stuff. And you're following along trying to solve a murder in this town. So I've heard good things. Okay, this one is called The Edge of Sleep. This is by Jake Emanuel and Willie Block with Jason Gurley. So three different people contributing to this one. Um, there is a podcast and there is, um, I think the authors of this run a podcast. Um, and now this is a book that has kind of come about because of the podcast, I believe, from what I'm understanding. Um, came out earlier in the summer. So I haven't tried it yet, obviously. I haven't read it, but I do have it both on the galley and physically here. So um, yeah, at some point I would like to pick this up. All right, so Sally Hepworth, The Soulmate. I got this on NetGalley and then I picked this for the book of the month, uh, whichever month this came out, March of 2023. And I picked this one. It was kind of a easy, I was like, yes. So I have it both ways <laughs> and I definitely want to read Sally Hepworth. I have not read anything by her yet, but I do own, I think three books of hers, including this one. Mm -hmm. I have two others on my shelf over there looking at me. So I've heard very, very good things about her as an author and I would like to give her a try. Okay, Susan Dennard, another author I've heard very good things about that I have not tried yet. This is The Luminaries. This one also has a sequel that just came out, and I do have a physical copy of the sequel downstairs as well. Um, but this one was sent to me from the publisher, and it's, I think, I feel like this is a little bit of a take on a choose your own adventure type thing. I feel like she was getting prompted on social media about where to take the story. I think she was asking questions and people were answering and she was taking some of those answers and creating a story from it from what I have heard. That's a very interesting concept. Like she, she purposely wrote it that way. Um, but yeah, so I think that's pretty cool. All right, next one is In the Lives of Puppets by TJ Klune. So I did buy a physical copy of this because TJ came into our store and he signed all of our stock for us. And for all of the booksellers, he personalized for us. So obviously I was going to get a physical copy of this book, right? <laughs> like it wasn't even a question. And um, yeah, so very excited for this one. I love TJ Klune. I've read two of his books now and they have just been absolutely amazing. I'm very excited to get into this one as well. This one's kind of funny because I have Finley Donovan Jumps the Gun by El Casamano, which is the third book in the Finley Donovan series. I have not read the second book yet, but I don't have that one on Nick Galley. <laughs> but I do have the third one and I have it physically as well. So that's kind of funny. But um, yeah, I really enjoyed the first book. Finley Donovan is killing it. It was a lot of fun. Just kind of fly by the seat of your pants mystery book and I loved it I thought it was great so I definitely want to read the rest of the series um but this is number three I just need to read number two first okay this next one was a book exchange gift from Lindsay so she sent me the book of two ways by Jodi Picot it's been a while since I picked up a Jodi Picot I think I tried to do one for a five-star prediction at one point and I ended up just putting it down for now. It's not one that I will get rid of by any means. I would like to go back to it. It was kind of like a not right now type thing. Um, but yeah, I definitely want to get back into reading some of Jodi's books. I just have to be ready. <laughs> she, her books are very thought provoking and heavy. So I have to be kind of ready for that. But I have good, heard good things about this one. So 
Yeah. Okay, this next one is uh, one that was a gift as well. And this is Dark Rose by Chevy Stevens. I have read and really loved Chevy Stevens before. Um, the other two books that I read from her, I both gave five stars. So I definitely want to read more of her books. And this is one that I got on NetGalley early. I was very excited about it. I haven't read it. <laughs> and then I got this as a gift later on too. So yeah. Another Lindsay book exchange book is The Final Girl Support Group by Grady Hendrix. I think I got this on NetGalley when the paperback came out. I didn't get it initially for sure um, when it first came out. But I think when the paperback came out, they were they did another run on NetGalley and I got it that way. So I was like, oh, exciting. And then Lindsay sent me this one and I was like, more exciting. <laughs> so, um, But I do really enjoy Grady Hendrix. So I definitely want to read this one for sure. All right. And then I have The Night Shift by Alex Finley. I actually have two Alex Finley books from NetGalley. Haven't read either one of them. I haven't read a single book he's written yet, but he has three out and I have not read one. Yeah, <laughs> so it's fine. Uh, he does write mystery thriller books, heard good things, excited to get into it and kind of see what it's about. But yeah. all right. And then I have The Editor. This is by Stephen Rowley. I read a book by him. I read The Gunkel and loved it. I thought it was so much fun. So I definitely want to read more from this author. And I definitely have this one on NetGalley when it came out. And I bought the hardcover as well because I just, it's so beautiful. And I really think I'm going to love it. This involves Jackie Kennedy as an editor. So, yay fun. All right. This is a series that I definitely have not gotten into. Do I own most of the books? Mm hmm have I read any of them? Mm -mm. This is the Twisted Tale series. So this one is Mirror Mirror. This is by Jen Kalanita. There are multiple authors for this series who write different books, but each one is a twist on a fairy tale. And it's like, what if this happened? What if this happened? And it takes a story in a different direction. I own most of these. My daughter and I were collecting them. She hasn't read any of them either. They're all sitting on my shelf now because she's starting to lose interest. <laughs> I'm not though. I really want to read them. And I do have this from NetGalley and I remember downloading it and I was like, cool, I'll read that one. Nope, still haven't, but I do have it physically as well. So this one is what if the evil queen poisoned the prince? So this is a Snow White one. What if she poisoned the prince instead of Snow White? Very interesting. And then I have The Soulmate Equation. This is by Christina Lauren. And I actually have unhauled all of my Christina Lauren books, except for this one. <laughs> and I just figured I would hang on to this one until I read it from NetGalley just to kind of see what I think. Um, I have heard really good things about it, though. So we'll see, you know, how it ends up being when I do pick it up. I have thought about this recently, though, about picking it up kind of soonish. And yeah, so... Christina Lauren's very interesting. Um, I only kept a couple of them that I've already read because I absolutely love them. Love in Other Words is still like one of my favorite romances I've ever read. And um, yeah, so, but then I've read a bunch from them that were just kind of okay, very middle of the road. So I got rid of them. I loved The Unhoneymooners as well. So those two I've definitely kept. Um, so we'll see how this one goes, but yeah. And last but not least... This is what I'm currently reading, <laughs> and that is Killers of a Certain Age by Deanna Rayburn. I actually started reading this book on my Kindle on the plane ride back from our besties trip in the beginning of October, <laughs> and I'm still reading it, only because I have put it down for other things, and I just haven't gone back to it yet. I haven't read on my Kindle in quite a while, so I definitely want to get back to it because I was enjoying what I was reading. I got... A whole 43 pages in, <laughs> to be honest with you. But uh, yeah, I do plan to go back to it and pick it back up when I start reading on my Kindle again. But I, I definitely haven't been prioritizing my Kindle at all lately, even though NetGalley has been one of my goals this year is to always have a NetGalley book going. Technically, I do. Um, I'm just not actively reading it. <laughs> it's just kind of sitting there right now. Um, so we'll see how, you know, I will pick it back up and continue reading it. I would like to read this and finish it before the end of the year. So um, yeah. Okay, guys, those are the books that I have both from NetGalley and physically on my shelves for whatever reason. And it's a big stack. It's a big stack. <laughs> so it's kind of funny, though, because the whole point of NetGalley is to read books early and know whether or not you want to purchase them. And I'm definitely not using it that way. But it's okay. It's fine. Everything's good. Uh, yeah. So let me know your thoughts down below. 
what do I need to prioritize? I would like to actually like really kind of dwindle this down <laughs> and, you know, not have any books that I have from NetGalley and also physically on my shelves that I haven't already read. That would be ideal. So we'll see. But let me know your thoughts and I will see you guys again soon. Hope you have a great day.